they don't really want the others. So, right a picture, Blue Jacket, a bit slow away, let's see how good he is as they break out for the TNT July stakes and Prince Deja in space with the white face, the green and white Doc Holliday on the inside nearest to us, red cap Scottish River, fine well-grown type from the Mark Johnson team, Mesha here, trying to tuck in on the outside under Frankie de Tori, racing through the first quarter mile and Doc Holliday just from Prince Deja with Scottish River against the fence. And then in space and measure here, the long odds on favourite, racing enthusiastically, free running in the outside position as they pass the halfway stage in this Group 3 two-year-old contest. And Doc Holliday with Scottish River on the inside. Nudged along now is Prince Deja. Measure here still out wide and in space struggling to keep up. They're inside the two running into the dip and Measure here is coming there full of running, bounding along on the outside of Doc Holliday. Scottish River on the near side and Prince Deja under strong pressure but the favourite strikes the front. Measure here. Scottish River though is fighting on well against the fence. It's Measure here who's gone a length, a length and a half up on Scottish River and he's going to land the squirrels. Measure here puts that Royal Ascot unlucky run behind him to win this July stakes from Scottish River, Doc Holliday, Prince Deja, and finally in space. Measure here, three to one on favourite, and not really many anxious moments here. Always travelling very strongly in the race in the hands of Frankie de Tori. And David Loder winning this TNT July stakes for the third year running after City on a Hill and Novair in the last two years, and even won it back in 1994 with Fallow as well. Navea, last year's winner, has gone on to become a smart three-year-old, and Mesha here has all the makings of something similar. The son of Nureyev, he's done it well. You just reap up, reap up the revies, lump it on the load of horses, in they go, and you draw. Return to eat, three to one on, that Mesha here did touch five to two on the course. Good support late for Scottish River, sent off a 12 to 1, ran a great race in defeat. Very close for third with between Prince Danger at 9 to 2 and Doc Holliday at 16 to 1. But that Messerschere, the 14th favourite in 41 runnings over six furlongs to win it, the seventh to go in at odds on, and he's the third colt to be third in the Coventry at Royal Ascot and come on and win the six furlong July stakes. Bold fact did it four years ago, final straw in 1979. 33 to 1 for the Sagittarius 2000 Guineas before the race that measures here. Not so impressive. Will bookmakers shorten it up after that? Well, the confirmation of the 1 2 3 available. Measures here 3 to 1 on. Second Scottish River. Brave effort by him at 12 to 1. And third, I think slightly disappointing, you have to say, Prince Dejo at 9 to 2. People are asking me, what does this measure here mean? It's Arabic for a big prize. And I wonder if that big prize is the 2,000 guineas here at Newmarket next spring. Well, <laughs> we know what the name means, but if Tomo's to be right, he'll have to do a fair bit better than we saw here. But take nothing away from the horse. Uh, he can only win. And... For a moment, uh, guys, I just thought there was a slight doubt, and then Walter, he changed his lead running into the dip and picked up. He did. That was the, that was the point where he changed leads, and it, it was clear to see. And, um, you know, like you, I was wondering, I thought, my word, you know, is he, is, what's going to happen here? Is he going to get away? He's just racing with his head on his side here. And, but then when Frankie, you know, gets serious with him and, and pulls his whip through as he has there, you know, he then knuckles down one backhander and I like him, you know, because I think he'll only do what you ask him to do and he's that type. You know, he's a laid back type, but he's he's bonny and I, you know I like his outlook. John? He's certainly very willing. I mean he looked like he had an odd pair of shoes on coming up the hill there. And I'd be certainly concerned about if uh, if he was running again on very quick ground somewhere. But uh, oh, he's, a, he's a very likeable individual, but I was also taken with the second horse who kept galloping right to the line, and as they came past up, we're just level or just beyond the winning post. He was galloping on again. He certainly wanted to keep in the notebook, and uh, if Mac hasn't run off, I wanted to ask Mac, he was 16 to 1 Scottish River, two seconds before the off. I, I, Mac, he was 16 to 1. We've had this before, Scottish River. Suddenly, at the off, we got returned 12 to 1. I mean, was there that much money for him that he's suddenly gone from 16s to 12s in the last minute? 
We certainly gave you the moves on Channel 4. I said when they were 16 to 1, bar 2, that was very tight. 14 to 1, it did come into 12. It's the smaller punter's greatest jockey, the Fiverr and Tenor merchants, who thought Mark Johnson's horses are bang in form. If the